Welcome to Souped Up Recipes. Today we are making Chinese flat bread. It's called Shao Bing in Chinese, and it is a popular street food. It was my favorite breakfast when I was young. Can't wait to show you how to make it. Let's get ready to make the dough. You need 300 grams of plain flour and half teaspoon of salt. Give it a mix. Add in the warm water. Mix it and knead it until all the flour come together become a dough. Cover it. And let it sit for thirty minutes. Now let's make the filling. Marinate the ground beef with one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, one tablespoon of soy sauce, two teaspoon of sesame oil, one teaspoon of five spice, one teaspoon of chicken powder, and quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix then until the beef absorbs the liquid, and you can feel the texture is smooth. Combine it with the vegetables, which are one third cup of chopped onion, a quarter cup of cilantro, a quarter cup of scallion, and two teaspoons of ground ginger. Set it aside for thirty minutes. We need to make a glaze for the shao bing, which is the key to make shao bing super crispy. You will need two tablespoons of diced spring onion, one and half tablespoon of flour, two teaspoons of Sichuan peppercorn powder, and two teaspoons of white pepper. We are going to heat up some oil, the hottest possible, and then pour the oil into the bowl immediately. Guys, attention, please! I want you to hear the sound. That is amazing, right? This helps to mix and release the flavor. I wish you could smell it. It is really nice. These two types of pepper are going to give so much different levels of spicy to the shopping. Set it aside. We are going to use that later. By now. The dough should be ready. It is a little sticky, but that's what we need. Roll it into a long, even strip, because the amount I gave is enough for twelve shaobing. So we are going to cut it into twelve pieces. Each one should be about thirty-five grams. Brush some glaze onto the small dough. Take one dough, roll it a little bit, then flatten it by your hands. Using rolling pin, roll it until you have a long thin piece like this. It is about twenty-five centimeter long and thirteen centimeter wide. We're gonna brush the glaze again on one side of the piece. Put some filling on it. I put a little bit more than a tablespoon. Don't put it all the way full because it is really thin. It will have a higher chance of breaking if you fill it up all the way. Fold the edge of it. Just like this.
roll it from one side. And then wrap the end of it to finish it. Put it in this position and press it down gently. Eventually, you will end up with something like this. It should be about half inch thick and 10 cm long across. Put it into a bowl with a lot of sesame seeds. I just curled one side because I think it looked prettier. Finish the rest and we can fry the shao bean. Put enough vegetable oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Place your shao bean in sesame side up. And fry them on low heat for 5 minutes. Flip them over, fry the other side for 3 minutes or until both sides turn golden brown. Look at that! Gorgeous! Let me open one. See the juicy feeling and the crispy skin? I hope you're not watching this on an empty stomach. It tastes quite unique. A little salty and has rich flavor. The onion gives a nice aroma and the Sichuan peppercorn gives you a little spicy kick because the way how we fold it, it locks the juice in the middle. This reminds me the first time I had it, I was shocked because it was the best food I have ever had at that time. So I ate it for breakfast more like six months straight. I admit I was a little crazy, but it is really delicious and I hope you give this a try soon. If you want to learn how to cook more Chinese food, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll post at least one delicious recipe each week. And for now, check out my other amazing recipes.